What happens when the darkness suddenly breaks and the night is forced to surrender? 1882, New York. Carriages clatter on cobblestones. The air thick with smoke and doubt. Gas lamps flickered like tired hearts. But ahead, a glow no one has seen before. Edison's bulb ignited. The city gasped. Shadows fled. And history bent. From that night forward, the world split in two. The time before the switch was thrown and the time after. No vote, no king, no preacher could shove that genie back into the glass. Electricity had arrived. Dangerous, dazzling, divine. It shocked, it healed, it killed, it created, and in its glow, the human story was changed forever. Now, a century and a half, plus some change later, another switch is being thrown. Not bulbs, but algorithms. They hum in our headlines, they whisper in our classrooms, in our bedrooms, in the quiet corners where secrets live. Some marvel, some panic. Some whisper what they whisper to Edison. Is this the right way? But AI, like light, is not asking permission. The current is already flowing. The question is not if, but what we will build under its gl- I carry another light with me. A memory sharp as glass. August 8th, 2022, Nationals Park. Lady Gaga at the piano. My oldest son, Iman, beside me. She stopped the music. She lifted her hand. And on the giant screens, the moon appeared. A waxing gibbous, swollen and proud. She said, remember, the moon belongs to all of us. Don't let them take it away. The crowd roared, the warning landed, and my boy smiled. Two years later, when the man passed, the moon became something else. A companion, a reminder, a thread of belonging that refused to break. And now every time I look up, I whisper his name, Eman. And Isaac and Josh. I love you every minute. So tell me, will AI be the moon of the few? Seized by algorithm overlords and their golden circles of power? Or will it be the moon of the many? Its glow shared in Lagos, in Kuala Lumpur, in Kurachi, in Nairobi. A light that says, This belongs to all of us. AI is not alive. It does not do him, but it learns. And in learning, it gives us new ways to see. It is a flashlight that doesn't just shine, but whispers back, that's a tree, that's your child, that's you, still here. It is a hammer, it can build, it can break. The danger was never in the tool, it was always in the hand that held it. At Human Woven, we choose the hand of belonging. We say AI is not a treasure to be locked away. It is a loom, and every hand deserves a thread. Because when it is shared, it opens doors. It tells stories never told. It builds bridges no one thought possible. So again, I ask you, is this the right direction? Edison's night taught us you cannot turn off the light once it's on. But you can choose how to live inside it. And Gaga's night taught us Don't let them steal the moon. AI is our moon now, our electricity, our inheritance, and our warning. Let's pass the flashlight from hand to hand, aim it into corners long forgotten, and together say, this brightness belongs to everyone. We are human. We are woven.